Welcome to Don't Be Patchman Development Diary Part 2. This time focusing on the sheeple because I was just making a video about them. So I have to like go into console mode in the simulation. You can see all the text on the screen. Um, that helps me see all the statistics and all the plans and artificial intelligence type information. It doesn't show everything, but it shows the overall view and I can look at multiple NPCs at the same time. A lot of the times I'll run a smaller window so I can see what's going on in the console. And I'll also just automatically start it up with the console showing. So I don't have to press a bunch of stuff every time. Because I'm often like starting and restarting this thing over and over and over again. Usually from the console, just so I can get any debug info, especially when it crashes. When it crashes, it throws out a whole bunch of print statements so I can see what's going on. I can start and stop a simulation and advance it step by step and it's really a lot easier if I can see the code across a whole bunch of monitors. This guy's just watching the repeater, getting lots of symbols. Go to the vending machine, a different level, same thing. Gotta have multiple levels to show that uh, everything runs even, not just once. This is a time-lapse building of the cottage. And this is currently level three in the game, although it'll probably end up level five or something. Time-lapse is taken every two seconds, I believe, and kind of shows what happens over a couple hours here. Just writing all this code, starting the simulation, stopping it. So I spend a lot more time writing code than in the game so anybody thinks it's like super fun to make a game well if you like writing code then maybe it is super fun but really really big maps that's like a title card experiment but you can zoom out in this as much as you want until it gets stuck inside the boundaries and of course really big maps require really big monitors set up and here's that same level I'm trying to grow all the uh, fruit you can probably guess why sheep will stand by the fridge waiting for something put two and two together figure out what to do Here's some art. I'm using GIMP, Graphical Image Manipulation Program, I believe it stands for. Uh, it's actually an incredible program. Very versatile and great for pixel art. For painting, not so much, but I don't do the painting, someone else does that. Igor Motis. And Carly McDonald. Recording at night sometimes can make you go a little crazy. And working on a simulation like this can give you a bit of delusions of grandeur. We need to do a sheep level where there's like all these symbols coming out, all these bases. It's just, yeah, you, would, you don't even know where they're coming from. Just look, look at all this precious source code controls the sheeple. Who controls the source code? I do. 
I control the sheeple. Ha ha ha! Maintain that. The CPU processing power. I wouldn't be able to. Don't you understand? I don't have enough memory for this thing. I have this, uh. This little. It's kind of like a technical sketch. Okay. Um. Like there's a waterfall that falls down. There's another waterfall here. And I just kind of want it to be really peaceful. Yeah. And like, like you're in this really beautiful nature scene. Oh, cool, yeah. And the water will be animated and stuff. We'll have to work together to do that. Yeah, for sure. And then there'll be like, like the, there's a map layer, right? And then the sky kind of thing will go on top and like over top of it. But there might be like breaks in it, like, because there's water here. I really like this logo that's on the website right now. It's not gonna last forever, but for the time being, I just imagine like what these guys are thinking and saying in their heads. And he's like, oh, I'm just trying to help. And she's like, oh, he said, hey, why are you doing holding that stuff? You shouldn't do that. Huh? Oh, get that out of here. But this is my favorite. It's granny. She's thinking. Oh, oh man. gosh. What an awful, awful man. Didn't he know? You shouldn't hold an apple like that. You shouldn't. Oh, man. What a awful, awful, awful man. Awful man. Yes. Got enough now. I got enough? Yeah. Yay. Now please. No, 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 no. No. Did I get them? Did I do I still have enough? Yeah. Okay. Wait for that girl to go away. Don't worry about that squirrel. Okay. No, look. That squirrel's not gonna hurt you. Just go and.